What's the matter, Runt? Tired? You soon will be. You got a problem, boy? We've been looking after you brats for ten long years, ever since we found you freezing in that snowfield. You owe us your lives, so how about you start showing us some respect? Yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Trouble again? You know what your problem is, dear brother? You need to learn to grovel more convincingly. Huh? <laughs> hey, Mia. I know how you feel, though. I hate their big fat guts as much as you do. Cat. Just hurry up and finish your work so we can go home. Tell you what, since I'm such a good sister, I'll stick around and cheer you on. Woo! 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 <laughs> the only reason the Chief's working me so hard today is because you got caught with your hand in his coin purse. You could at least help. <laughs> Make me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Me and my big mouth. <sighs> yeah. Thanks for the help, Mia. Oh, stop moaning, will you? If you keep being horrible to me, I won't share any of my riches with you when I'm a millionaire. <sighs> oh, not that again. Still, I guess it's good to have a dream. One of these days, we're gonna get our hands on a whole pile of treasure, and then we can wave this lousy place goodbye. <laughs> Forget a pile. I'm not gonna stop till I've got myself a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> First things first, we gotta find something to eat. Huh. If we had wings, we could fly away from here. We could go wherever we wanted. Uh, uh, what are you, five? You won't be flying anywhere on an empty stomach. Know what I think when I look at that thing? Dinner. Just something I picked up on today's raid. No birthday's complete without a present, right? Happy birthday, sis. Huh? 
Is this the best you can do? A rusty old necklace? Honestly, Eric, you need to try harder. What I really wanted was the red orb of Heliodor. Word is, it's a ruby the size of my head. That necklace has special powers. They say that whoever wears it will find gold at their fingertips wherever they go. It's probably just talk, but it seemed about right for a little money grubber like you. I guess you'll just have to put it on and find out if... <gasps> what the... Where did you get that from? I don't know. It was a copper coin a minute ago. But as soon as I touched it... It... Again, huh? <laughs> What's the matter, Eric? Jealous of my treasures? Tell you what, if you ask me really, really nicely, I'll let you have one. Let me see now. Um Ah, perfect! Wait, you didn't, did you? Mia, this isn't right. Yeah, I suppose it is a little small. I forget how greedy you are. Seriously, Mia, it's not funny. This has to stop. Hey, there's no need to shout. And anyway, you're the one that gave me this thing. I have been getting a little carried away. Just stop looking at me like that, will you? <sighs> I'm sorry I lost my cool, okay? It's just... <sighs> no, no, it's fine. I'll stop turning stuff into gold. For now. <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong? The necklace, it won't come off. 
Come on, Mia, stop fooling around. <laughs> I'm serious, I can't get it off. <gasps> what? What's happening now? I didn't do anything, I swear! <gasps> Don't move! It's all my fault. After what happened, I ran away. I wanted to leave this place, to leave my past behind. I asked around about the necklace on my travels and finally found out what it was. I'd given my sister a cursed relic. I wanted to forget who I was and what I'd done. So I threw myself into any adventure that came along and before I knew it, I was living as a thief. That's when I met him. The guy who called himself the Seer. He told me to go after the orb. That if I did, I'd meet the luminary somewhere deep underground. And that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. At first, I didn't believe a word of it kind of circles I was moving in, you learn pretty quickly not to trust anyone but yourself. But sure enough, I went after the orb, I wound up underground, and I met you. <gasps> Your memory, laddie. It's back. It is. Thanks to you guys. Guess I've been kind of a pain these last few days, huh? I'll make it up to you, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if I'll ever find the forgiveness the seer promised me. But everything else he said came true. Maybe that will too. You saw it, right? The statue my sister turned into was right here. If this Gildigger guy is collecting all the gold he can get his hands on, maybe he took her too. I heard those golden goons saying he's holed up in a castle north of here. I'm gonna get Mia back if it's the last thing I do. Then it looks like we're all headed the same way. After all, we've got some Sniffleheimers to rescue, right? 
Hmm. Thanks again, you guys. It's good to be back. Hmm.
that again and you'll regret it. I haven't been Mia for a long time. The name's Gildiga. Wait, you're... Yes, well done. I'm the big baddie. It was all me. Gold fever, stealing all the statues. Me, me, me. <gasps> What's the matter, dear brother? Aren't you happy to see your little sister doing so well for herself? Anyway, what are you doing out of your cage? I wasn't planning on having my men bring you here till later. <laughs> <laughs> you have every right to hate me, Mia. I hate myself for what I did to you. But the Vikings? The fever? Why would you do all this? Oh, questions, questions. Always with the questions. Fine. If you're so desperate to know, then I'll tell you. It all began when the world tree fell from the sky, and the Lord of Shadows went to visit a certain lucky girl. Monster, do to you. Monster? <laughs> He's not the one who left his sister to rot all alone in a cave. Thanks to that monster, I'm here today. Thanks to him, I have all the gold, all the power I ever wanted, and more. And for my next trick, I'm going to turn everyone in the world into golden soldiers, just like those stupid Vikings, and work them all to the bone. Ah, oh, so you really did turn the chief and his men into your slaves. What's happened to you? <laughs> you really think you deserve to know? After all you've done, I'll show you what you deserve. I've thought about you every day for the last five years. 
The thought of saving you was the only thing that kept me going. It's all my fault. All of this. Everything that's happened to you. Which means I have to finish this. I have to take you down. Now you decide to play the hero? You're too late. You couldn't save me, and you can't save yourself. Or your pathetic little friends. Why can't you all just leave me alone? I don't need a brother, or a hero, or anyone. You're worthless to me. But you'll be worth your weight in gold.
Silvanda grows even greater. Things lost control of her power. If we can't stop her, gold fever's gonna spread like wildfire. I can't let that happen. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Mia. I have to end this. do it. She's my kid sister. I have to try and save her. Hmm. <sighs> ah, 
things used to be when we'd fight and laugh and fight some more when all we had was each other we didn't need money we didn't need anything I don't care how poor and cold and hungry we were I want it back I don't need this I don't need gold Work, Eric. You just lost us a fortune. Your sister was a vessel for a power beyond human understanding. It has taken a terrible toll. We must let her rest. But do not fear, my child. Her life is not in danger. In time, she will recover. I owe you. Mia owes you. Here. You should have this. The seer told me that if I helped the luminary, I'd find forgiveness. Guess he knew what he was talking about, huh? <laughs> We'd better make a move. Mia's safe here for now, which is good, because I've got things to be getting on with. Like helping you take Mordigan down. Let's hit the road, partner.